Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Woodrow and I'm the head teacher of St Gregory's Primary School. Thank you for showing an interest in our specialist unit. I'd like to give you a quick virtual tour and show you around and hopefully give you lots of information that you might find useful when you decide if this is a setting that's appropriate for your children. The first thing to point out is that we are in fact an upstairs setting and that can have an impact on whether or not we are safe enough and the right place for your child. I wanted to mention that at the start because I didn't want anyone to be surprised when they turned up at the school. So we are a normal sized primary school. We have one class for each year group and Apple class, who are our specialist unit, are in effect our eighth class. They still come to assembly, they come to break time, they are in the choirs, go to clubs or in productions, but their needs are such that they benefit from small group or one-to-one -one teaching activities um, and a more play-based child-led curriculum. So I'd just like to show you some of what we do. In our class, we have 20 children with two teachers and six teaching assistants. This room here is where our little apples, our younger children go. So typically there'd be around 10 children in here up to key stage one. You need to be aware, by the way, that when you apply for a place, if your child's in key stage one, you have to reapply then for key stage two. We have to look at the needs of the children and see if they can be reintroduced to mainstream school or if they need to stay with us. And that's something that we like to make everyone aware of when you apply. So in here, the children will have some one-to-one -one activities, short focused activities, teacher-led input, but for a lot of the time, there are a range of activities set up that they can choose from. This is the sort of messy play area, if you like. So typically in here, there will be sand, water, foam, clay, a lot of sensory play that the children can use while they're in here. There'll be adults as well, so the children are supervised and that their learning can be led, but they get to choose the activities that they do. Also, just through here, we have a soft play area. We emptied out our PE cupboard of all of the soft play equipment, and the children, throughout their time during the day, each day, are timetabled to come in here, play together, enjoy the soft play, and we actually open it up to some mainstream children at lunchtime if they'd like to come in. And when my daughter, who's six, comes to visit the school, she just comes and stays up here. This is our absolute favorite room, and it is very popular with the children. So they have this soft play facility as well. A lot of the work that the children do is based around social skills, so they'll spend a lot of time together uh, at snack time and so on, talking about social skills. They'll do trips in our area. We're very lucky that we've got a beautiful grassland area called the Meadows nearby, so the children will go and feed the ducks. They may go and buy things from cafes or shops, go and post letters. There's a lot of real life experiences and activities the children have as well. And the best thing that we do as a school all year is take the children from our specialist unit to the pantomime at the new Wolsey Theatre. It's a relaxed performance, the children can dance, they can shout out, they can do whatever they want, and it's a joy. I never actually watch the panto, I only ever watch the children watching the panto, and it's absolutely magnificent, one of the best things that we do. So, just through here is the second teaching room. This is where the large apples go. This is where the children, the typically key stage two children would go. And they might have more group work and a more focused sort of lesson approach. And they might be English or maths. But this is where they'll be again, class teacher and three teaching um, assistants because of the number of adults that we have. But lots of work will go on here. There can typically be one topic for a week. It might be a letter sound, it might be a story, something like the Three Little Pigs. Fireworks have been very popular as I record this because it's the 5th of November. But we also have one other room that I'd like to show you, which is our sensory room. Before I get in, if you are thinking of applying for a place here in our specialist unit, you need to know that it is done separately through the local authority. Children who are here in our specialist unit may have global delay, they may have degrees of autism, they may be speech and language issues. They need to have an educational health and care plan. If they do not have one, they cannot have a place in our setting. And the local authority will write to us and say, we've had an application for a place from this child, do you think they are appropriate? When that happens, one of our teachers will most likely come out and visit your child in their setting and make an observation as part of their approach to seeing whether or not we are a suitable or appropriate setting. We'll then report back to the local authority and they will make an offer. We are one of the few schools in Suffolk who have a specialist unit, so we are always oversubscribed. It is still worth looking around, applying though, so that you're on a list in case there's a space. But I wanted to make you aware, please don't apply 
for our school through the usual processes through the local authority for a mainstream place because you need to apply for a specialist provision place and that is done with an education and public care plan through a separate local authority committee. We have a sensory room. Let me show you that to finish the tour. So, in here, we have our lava lamp, as you can see, fired up already. In fact, there's normally a bit more in here, but we've been recently for one of the charities that Tesco support with the blue tokens when you've bought things at the end, and we're getting some new equipment which can be put in here and put up. So at the moment, it's not quite as all singing or dancing as it might be. But what we are able to do is change the colour of the lights, as you can see. We've got children who need to come in here during the day because of their sensory needs. We've got children who come in here as a treat or a reward. And if I'm honest, we've probably got teachers who come in here at the end of the day with a cup of tea as well, just to switch off for a little while. But it's a wonderful provision to have. We are fiercely proud of the provision in our specialist unit. So thank you again for expressing an interest and finding out a little bit more. If you do have any questions about the setting before you make an application, then feel free to give us a call or email the school or admin at st-gregory.suffolk.sch.uk. We'll be happy to answer your questions. But for now, that is just a tiny snapshot of the amazing work that happens here in Applepass. Thank you very much for your time.